If a train is moving at a speed of 108 kilometers per hour, its speed in meters per second is. Hi, I'm Akshita and the topic for now is problems on trains. So before getting into problems, let us learn few concepts related to it. Let us first learn how we convert kilometers per hour to meter per second. Let us assume that a train is traveling with speed A and its units are given in kilometers per hour. So how do we convert this kilometer per hour to meter per second? So multiplying A with 5 by 18 converts it from kilometer per hour to meter per second. This is the only formula which we have to remember to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. Then to convert it from meter per second, let us send this 5 by 18 to the other side, to this side. So that will only have a meter per second. A meter per second will be a into 18 by 5. As we have sent 5 by 18 to the other side, it becomes 18 by 5 kilometer per hour. Don't get confused in between these two. Remember any one of these so that you can derive the other from the first one. Now, let us assume there's a train of length L and let us assume here is a person standing stationary like he's not moving anywhere so this train is moving in this direction with some speed so here the time taken by this train to pass the stationary object will be equal to the time taken to cover L meters so this time will be equal to the length L meters this is what we have to remember then let us assume there's a train which is moving with some speed and its length is l and here is a platform which is stationary but has some length and its length be b so the time taken by this train to pass this platform will be equal to the time taken to cover the distance of this length plus this breadth. Then, coming to the next formula, it is based on relative speeds. Let us assume that two trains are traveling in the opposite direction. This train in the opposite direction to that of the other train. Let the speed of first train be u meter per second and speed of the second train be v meter per second. Then, as they are opposite in direction, the relative speed will be, then, if they move in the same direction, then the relative speed will be u minus v meter per second. And in this, the speed of u should be greater than v. Only then this formula works. Then, let us assume there are two trains its length is a meters and its length is b meters and this is moving with the speed u and this is moving with the speed v and this is length so then let us assume this is moving in the opposite direction to that of the other train so if two trains are moving opposite to each other with speeds u and v and length a meters and b meters then the time taken for these two trains to cross each other will be a plus b divided by as they are moving in opposite directions it will always be plus as we have seen before in the relative speed so it will be u plus v the speeds are to be added so time will be a plus b divided by u plus v seconds then let us assume the trains to be traveling in the same direction and their speeds u and v and their lengths a and b then the time taken will be a plus b divided by u minus v as they both are traveling in the same direction. With this, we are done with the formulas on problems on trains. Let us jump into the types of problems. So there are three types of problems in problems on trains. The first one is purely formula based and the second one is based on relative speeds as we have learned the formulas already and the third one will be relative motion we have learned formulas for these also then let us jump into the first type of questions let us first read the question 
A train is moving at a speed of 132 km per hour. If the length of the train is 110 meters, how long will it take to cross a railway platform 165 meters long? So what they are saying here is, there's a train which is moving at a speed of 132 kilometers per hour and the length of the train is 110 meters and there's also a platform which is stationary but 165 meters long. So the distance will be L plus B as I've said earlier that is 110 plus 165 so it is 275 meters. Now we have got the distance and the speed is also given. Speed is 132 kilometer per hour. So as it is in kilometer per hour, we have to convert it into meter per second. So 132 into what is it? 5 by 18. So 132 into 5 by 18 meter per second. That is 110 divided by 3 meter per second. Now we've got the distance, we've got the speed. We have a formula. Speed is equals to distance by time. That is, distance is 275, which is divided by the speed 110 divided by 3, that is 15 by 2. That is 7, 1 by 2 seconds. So we've got the time. Now, coming to the second question, let us understand the question first. A goods train runs at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour and crosses a 250 meters long platform in 26 seconds. What is the length of the goods train? They're asking us the length of the goods train. So at first, let us assume the length of the goods train to be X. Let it be like that. So they have given us the speed, but that speed is in kilometer per hour. So let us convert this kilometer per hour to meter per second. They've also given us the time. Let us write it, 26 seconds. Let us draw a train to understand the question more specifically. So this train is traveling in this direction and there's a platform which is 250 meters long, but is stationary. So here you don't know the length of X and here you, you know the length of this, but the total distance will be always the train's length plus the platform's length. So it will be X plus 250. So this is the distance which is covered. So we have got the speed, we have got the time and we have got the distance. We have to relate it using speed is equals to distance by time again. So this will be, so this will be speed is 20, distance is x plus 250 and time is 26. So 20 into 26 is 520 that is equals to x plus 250. So x will be. 520 minus 250 that is 270 meters as it is length. Let us first read the question. A train 110 meters long is running with speed of 60 kilometers per hour. In what time will it pass a man who is running at 6 kilometers per hour in the direction opposite to that of the train is going? Now, let us first write what is given and then understand the question. So given, they have given us the length of the train that is 110 meters. And here what we need to observe is, they have given us the train speed and also the man speed. So here we need to consider the relative speed of train with respect to the man. So, as they both are opposite to each other, their relative speeds are to be added as I've discussed earlier. So relative speed will be the train speed plus the man speed. That is 60 plus 6. That is 66 km per hour. But we have observed that the speed is in kilometers per hour. Let us convert it into meter per second. That is 66 into 
5 by 18 as we have discussed in the earlier video. So when we multiply these two, we get 55 by 3. Found the speed and they have given us the length is 110 meters and that is distance. And they have asked us the time. So we know that speed is equals to distance by time. So time will be equal to distance by speed. Now we know the distance. Let us substitute it. It is 110. Then the speed is 55 divided by 3. So 110 into 3 divided by 55. That is 6 seconds. We are done with question 1. Let's move to question 2. Let us read this question first. A train 125 meters long passes a man running at 5 kilometers per hour in the same direction. Let us also underline this. In which the train is going in 10 seconds. They have also given us the time. So they are asking us the speed. So they have given us the time. We have to find speed. And that is something related to the distance. So first, let us find the speed of the train relative to man. So we know that speed is equal to distance by time. So distance is nothing but the length of the train that is 125 divided by the time is 10 seconds. This is meter per second. So it will be 125 by 10 into 18 by 5. So the value for this will be 45 kilometer per hour. So now what they are asking us is the speed of the train. We don't know the speed of train. So let us assume it is some variable that is x. Let us assume, let us assume it as x. So now as we have assumed the speed to be x and we have already got the speed of man. Let us find the relative speed. So the relative speed also depends on the direction. So as it is in the same direction, you have to subtract one from each other. But how do we need to subtract? Here we get a doubt of what to subtract after what. But obviously a train moves faster than a man in any case. So let us assume x is greater than 5. So now the relative speed will be x minus 5. Let us equate it. x minus 5 is 45. So x will be 45 plus 5 that is 50 with this we are done with category 2 come into the problems let us read the first question two trains 140 meters and 160 meters long run at the speed of 60 kilometers per hour and 40 kilometers per hour respectively in opposite directions on parallel tracks the time in seconds which they take to cross each other is so here as we can observe they have given us to the two lengths of the trains and two speeds also. This is why it comes under the relative motion of trains. And they have also given us the direction. So we can include relative speeds in this. And we have to find the time. Yes. So at first, they have given us the two speeds and the directions. Let us find the relative speed of it. So now, relative speed will be 60 plus 40. That is 100. But as it is in kilometer per hour, let us convert it into meter per second. This will be 250 divided by 9 in meter per second. As they have also given us the length, let us find the distance. As they are moving in the opposite directions, the distances also are to be added. So it is 140 plus 160. The total distance is always L plus B as we have read earlier so it's 140 plus 160 that is 300 in meters now we have got the speed and we have got the distance what we have to do again is we know the formula speed is equal to distance by time so time will be distance by speed as we have interchanged both of these so time will be distance by speed that will be the distance is 300 meters as we have seen here and the speed is 250 divided by 9. So this will be 300 into 9 divided by 250. This is 54 divided by 5. That is 10.5.
seconds. We've got the time. Let's move on to the next question. Let us first read the question. Two trains of equal length are running on parallel line in the same direction at same direction at 46 km per hour and 36 km per hour. The faster train passes the slower train in 36 seconds. The length of each train is. They have given us the time directly. And with this, we can find the relative speed as we've got two speeds and the direction is already set. So relative speed can be found like this. And they have set us that it is of equal length. So finding one length is enough. Finding the length of one train is enough. So let it be x. Let us assume the length of the train to be x. Now, let us find the relative speed. As they both are in the same direction, we have to subtract it. Is equals to u minus v. Where u is, should always be greater than v. So 46 will be u. That is 46 minus 36. That is 10. So, but this is in kilometer per hour. Let us convert it into meter per second. 10 into 5 divided by 18. So that will be 25 by 9. So we have got the relative speed. We have got the speed. We already know the time. And we can find distance. How? So to find distance, we know that distance is equal to the length of each train. We have two lengths. So as we have assumed the length of train to be x, let it be x plus x. That is 2x. So now we know the distance, we know the speed, we know the time. We know the formula also. Speed is equal to distance by time. So what is speed? Speed is 25 by 9 is equals to distance is um, 2x divided by time is, time is already given here. That is 36. So now two 18s are, so x divided by 18 is equals to 25 by 9. 9 twos are, so x will be 25 into 2, that is 50. So we found the length of the train. The length of each train is 50 and both lengths are same. So any train's length is 50. So this is the end of the topic. Hope you have understood all the concepts involved.